love this set. I feel like not every photographer has something like this in their studio. So tell me a little bit about how you built this and, um, and what we're gonna do here. Well, thanks. Yeah, um, it's a really popular set too. Like the, everybody loves the chandeliers. Yeah. They, when we change the chandeliers from time to time, but it's really popular, especially girls like to get dressed up and glammed up for their senior mm -hmm. session, so this works. Um, with this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna mix strobe and, and ambient light from, or the tungsten light from the actual chandeliers. We also, also have two windows there, so it's bringing in that cooler light. You can see all this light here that's skimming across the couch is actually from that window. So what we're gonna do by popping off the strobe is we're gonna pop the strobe off and then I'm gonna drag the shutter, so then I'll pick up a little more light from the chandeliers and pick up some of that ambient light that's coming in from the windows. So when you say drag the shutter? Um, we're going to slow the shutter speed down to probably like maybe an eighth of a second, something like that. So we can pick that up. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and I'll just kind of play and dial it up. You know, most of the time in the studio, I'm going to shoot at 125th. So I'll just dial it down, down to 30th, 15th. Eighth, to see to see where I like that mixture. Some days, obviously, it's going to be brighter, right. and I don't have to drag the shutter as much. Right. Other right. days, it's going to be like today, kind of dreary, and I'll have to pull it down a little bit more. Okay, so. cool. So, Beth, you kind of have three lights going on here, right? You've mm -hmm. got that cool light coming in from the windows, you've got the tungsten from the chandeliers, and then you've got your strobe going off. Exactly. So I've got a lot, I'm mixing a lot of light. <laughs> and how are you, so what are you setting, setting your white balance? I'm setting the white balance for her skin. Okay. So normally on a strobe, I shoot at about 5,200 Kelvin. And so I'm, I'm, I'm working with that. And I want to make sure that her skin looks the, warm, looks the way that I want it to look. Okay. Um, and the other light can be a little bit cooler. The hair could be a little bit warmer. People expect- It looks natural, right? Right, it looks very natural. So people expect like those chandeliers to be a little warmer in the background. I think it just works. Yeah. And Rick, you go up a little bit more, up, up, up. So Perfect. what's your exposure at this right now? Right now, I am actually at a fifth of a second at f8. I'm going to get it. Tilt chair one more time. And perfect. I'm going to move the couch just a little bit. I want her in those lights a little differently. Let's back her. <laughs> nice thing I have in the sliders. So now I've moved her out of the light a little bit. I'm going to move that back. So now I'm going to get a little more warmth on her from those chandeliers. Okay. Oh, it lights up her hair. Yeah. See that. So it gives yeah. a nice hair light, doesn't it? Uh -huh. So raise up, 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 up. Tilt your head this way. And chin down just a bit. Chin down. Perfect. So in this one, we're actually we're going to be mixing light again. So we're going to mix the existing light from the Hollywood vanity mirror with the actual fluorescent lights here that we have um, continuous light. Oh, oh sorry. Awesome. I know we, they worked really hard to kind of clear out this space over here. Yeah. <laughs> Working with mirrors is always fun. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I got two or three mirror shots and it's actually, you, know, you have to clear out everything and basically look through the mirror, look look through the mirror to see what you're going to actually see in the background. Um, so we've opened up the windows to try to give a little more light back in that area and, and mix it with this light. And it gives a really cool like depth and mm -hmm. dimension to the picture for you to see all of that space back in there. So is that why you use this type of continuous light is so that it somewhat matches? It somewhat matches that. That's that's right. So instead of, I, I've worked a couple times doing it where I popped off the strobe and then dra drag, was dragging the shutter like we did mm -hmm. in another previous uh, shoot. I just didn't like the effect of it nearly as well as gotcha. when I went to the continuous light and I just felt like it blended a little better. So it's kind of again, like it's all a little play. What, right, what right. do you like better? What? It looks really natural. Yeah. So, so what we're going to do too is we're going to do one uh, shot where we actually turn her into me and, and she's going to be lit by the, the, um, the fluorescent light. Then in a minute we're going to do a shot where she actually looks into the mirror and okay. the main portion of her face is going to be lit actually with with the bulbs from the Hollywood vanity mirror. So it's going to be a completely different temperature. So I'm going to actually do another white balance oh, okay. for that. So what I'll generally do is do one here and then we'll do one um, facing into the mirror because this is really, really, really warm, really warm, very gotcha. different. So, <laughs> Sounds all right. good. Shake your hand just a bit. Yeah, there you go. That's good. I like that much better. 
All right. So let's sit up real tall. Turn your nose a little bit this way and tilt your head. Perfect. And head a little bit more this way. Perfect. So if you can, scoot the chair and slide a little bit this way. The whole thing, the whole thing. Right, perfect. Okay, so what I'm gonna have you do, I just want you to sort of hold this brush up like you've been using, you know, like a, just kind of, yes. Sort of like right in here. And tilt, just shake your head and tilt that back. Perfect. So kind of do it like, sort of like a pencil, like you're holding it like, yes. And a little choke up on it, so it's like, perfect. That's good. Tilt your head back. Drop the brush down just a hair. Perfect. Turn your head a little bit this way and look at me. Now turn your head nose a little bit this way and then tilt back. Perfect. A little bit of smile. It's great.